Hey y'all, Manny from My Hectic Life Pets, where we talk about all things pet and pet related. So today I'm planning on f trying to feed my Pac-Man frogs, Moltar and Zorak fish for the first time. Also, I really want to give a big thank you to all of you guys out there because we have hit over 500 subscribers on the channel and I can't even believe like that many people are watching it. So I really want to thank all of y'all out there. It would not be possible without you. Also, because of this, I have decided to challenge myself and do seven videos in seven days. So I will be posting a video starting today, every day for the next seven days. So I hope y'all will really enjoy it. I do have a full-time job and a kid, so it is gonna be a little rough, but I am determined to do this. I've got my cup of coffee and I just brewed a fresh batch of coffee over here. So I am definitely ready to do this. And I've got plenty of cream and sugar because I don't actually like the taste of coffee. Who drinks coffee flavored coffee? Okay, so I've got my bag of fish here. I got the rosy red minnows. I figured that would be a good starting place since they're not very big, but they're big enough. And then I've got two little Tupperware containers that I'm gonna put dechlorinated water in and I'm just gonna fill it up enough that the fish can swim around in it a little bit, but my frogs will still be able to breathe. So I'm kind of excited because I haven't tried fish before with them. I don't know how they're gonna react. Hopefully they'll like them because I am kind of tired of switching back and forth between just crickets and night crawlers. So I wanna add a little bit more variation in their diet. So without further ado, let's go feed my frogs. All right, so up first I've got Moltar, who's probably pretty mad at me because that might have been a bit of a rude awakening just grabbing her out of the tank. If nothing else, you're soaking, which is good for you. Okay, so I think I have to give up on Moltar today, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna try again another day. So I actually had made that way too deep for him at first, so I actually emptied out some of the water. Looks like he's hungry though. So if nothing else, I have managed to make my frogs very angry with me. He is now hanging out on his water dish. Maybe if I put the fish in his water, then at least he'll have them for whenever he is ready. Oh, there he goes. He got it. Okay, so from now on, I'm not gonna try any fancy tricks. I'm just gonna stick the fish in the water bowl. That's easy. Now I know he likes them. Good boy, Zorak. Or at least I think you're a boy. You have a flat nose. You might be a boy. Meanwhile, Moltar seems to have zero interest in the fish whatsoever. This frog actually drives me crazy because I keep trying to offer her different foods and she's like, no, I eat crickets. Well, I'm gonna try putting it in the water bowl and see how that pans out. It worked really well with Zorak, so maybe it'll work for her. Maybe she just doesn't like the container. Maybe it's too big but the fish keeps swimming right by her face and she has not moved. She seems very happy in her water bowl. So it wasn't exactly successful with both of them, but at least it seems like Zorak enjoyed them. You live and you learn. Moltar likes crickets, not worms, not fish. Maybe I should just give up on trying to vary her diet because she's healthy, she's got that nice round shape. Maybe I should just leave well enough alone. But I feel like it's like eating the same cereal every day. Can you imagine if you like lived on Cheerios for your whole life and that's all you ate? Maybe some people like it that way. Okay, so that's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where I post new videos every week. And today was day one, so tomorrow will be day two of my seven day video challenge. Thanks for watching guys, bye.